Uh, yeah, sure. So I guess before recruitment, I um, I was a ship broker um, in, in the maritime industry. And my family were as well. Uh, and I kind of sort of fell into working with my grandfather. Um, and then I kind of left broking and I started to work for a recruitment agency, mainly kind of focusing in, in the oil and gas industry um, and more so in the maritime industry as well. Um, kind of back then I was highly hiring IT kind of uh, project managers, uh, business analysts, that type of thing. Um, and then I eventually went and joined a company called Clarkson's, who is actually the world's biggest ship broker. Um, and I was their kind of in-house recruitment manager. I kind of went on the client side and uh, got to hire lots of ship brokers, operators, uh, everything basically. So I was there for four years. Um, and then I yeah, decided to leave and, and founded Cordell Beaumont. And when it came to launching the business and considering setting up, what different options did you look at? Um, I looked at just doing everything myself to start with, I guess, was kind of the, the natural thing, whether I wanted to, I guess, kind of just sort of bootstrap it, as I say, and then just, yeah. you know, just use your LinkedIn account and, and go one of, these, <laughs> one of these off the shelf kind of applicant tracking systems, which are, they seem relatively affordable. Um, and I thought that, and then obviously I got approached sort of by, by Recruit Hub um, and it just sort of seemed like a much more, not safer way just to launch, but a bit more kind of um, very much more structured uh, yeah. with, with, with a certain like um, good sort of one, initially I think it was like a two to three year sort of planning kind of process to set in place and milestones and things. And just, just felt a lot more confident that I would hopefully succeed yeah. <laughs> with, with somebody else there kind of in your, in your corner type of thing. Yeah. And you've been running now for over two years. How has the experience of being an entrepreneur evolved and changed over that period? Um, I think you just learn that it's very much highs and lows, <laughs> I'd say. And, and when I say lows, I don't mean like, oh, I hate this thing. But I mean, a little bit more like the volatility of, of stress. Yeah. yeah. And, and just like doing deals, basically. Sometimes you have really great months and then especially when it's just you to start with you know that um if you just take the foot off the gas a little bit like maybe have a week where you do don't work quite as hard and you don't book in as many interviews you know very likely two weeks down the line there's not gonna be many deals coming in and all of a sudden yeah. it's your only sole base of income type of thing it, it, it can really affect you so yeah it's just that case of just the highs of lows of of running a business but, but that's what really yeah. drives me I, I really love that so and on the highs it's definitely doing big deals and and winning some clients that you've always wanted to work with um and then also once you start hiring people then seeing them do deals and stuff it's exciting yeah and you launch with financial support from a family member is that a route that you would recommend to other people it depends on the scenario really um i was very very fortunate mm. so i kind of had a mixture of family investment i say investment yeah basically a loan type of thing yeah um as well as i used a bit of my bonus from when i left clarks and and that kind of tidied me over for the first six months or so um and yeah I, I didn't actually go out and look for any kind of investors in the business i just thought i'd start off small and um it's it was uh, very fortunate i managed to get some some support initially and that's i still haven't touched that money yet it's still sat in a separate wow <laughs> it's it's quite so it's there to pay back whenever really yeah um, so it's, it's it's been nice yeah and what do you think has been the like single most important decision you've had to make as an entrepreneur God, that's a good question <laughs> i think it's okay the most important decision um i think it was hire, time. hiring people i think to really? take step from being a one-man band to actually start to actually you know let's, let, we need some support here yeah. you can't well, I think when it's your business, you, you want control of everything naturally. And I'm a bit of a control freak. Um, and I think that the decision to take on someone was the best thing I ever did. Um, it just means you're not really a sole trader anymore. You're much more a business owner and you've got someone that can, if, if you're ever for some reason not working, you've got someone in the background you know is flying the, the business flag type of thing for you and, and, and yeah. can bring, in, bring in revenue. It's that, that's probably my biggest thing, I think, starting to turn it into more of a business rather than just a, a yeah a man with a van type just of. you and your computer yeah <laughs> and you work really closely with Edmund since the launch how valuable has it been to have an experienced advisor to consult with you as you launched and grew your business uh, extremely yeah I mean he's 
been fantastic. I mean, from the early days, we had those really good sort of, um, I guess, launching plans and, and even helping with the business plan, that type of thing, um, which is great. Um, I, I had drew up one initially, but it was very much kind of word sort of focus, whereas it, we shifted it much more to sort of numerical and looked at key stats and milestones and things. So yeah, that was good. I, I think it's just on a strategic side, it's been invaluable just those, those initial few months of like even just tweaking certain things like my approach to business development even things like writing emails like I just he helped me to sort of change the, the way I approached an email to try yeah. and get, get a bit more traction and have better call to actions that type of things and more catchy engaging content um so that was fantastic and then, and then later on he was very much involved in the decision to shift away from perhaps the commercial shipping and go a bit more towards the the software sales side um because at the time covid sort of hit quite during the middle of my launch and um it, the, the commercial shipping weren't hiring as much so digital was booming so it was just great yeah to get in get that early get in there early with them so yeah and then the ongoing kind of quarterly reviews and almost sort of if needed i guess the sort of the daily support is, has been fantastic and um i think with scaling the business with hiring like Edmund's actually sort of done training sessions with our new employees and everything and which has been excellent and they all love it it's uh they're a lot better he's a lot better at training and, and putting stuff into better context than I am so it's it's really valuable and, and and often we do them as a team so we all get to see it at the same time which is, is really good yeah do you think if you'd known about Recruit Hub before you did you would have launched independently earlier on no, because I think I'd sort of started discussions because I was still at my old job when I, I, I didn't really think about leaving yeah. and I heard about Recruit Hub um, and I just, yeah, sounded great just, just from early on. Um, and I like their sort of the way that it came across as it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's in their, their interest for us to succeed with the way you do your fee model and everything. It was, it was great. So it just sort of works works really well I thought yeah that they're yeah. obviously aligned the better we do the better they do type of thing so it's sort of it yeah yeah it's more of a partnership and um, what are Cordell Beaumont's USPs so mainly it's the fact that we've got actual experience in in, in our targeted industry so the, I guess the fact that I, I I was used to be a ship broker and and also the fact that I used to I guess be the recruit manager for Clarkson's as a lot of gravitas, gravitas with, with a lot of our target clients and, and also the candidates we speak to. Um, if we're talking to ship operators or brokers or, or even people in the maritime software sales side, they see us as actually in the industry. They know what we're talking about. Um, we know what the end client of these companies is likely to, to be. We know, we know that, like, they're selling their software to ship owners. We understand what all the ship owners are doing. So I think that's the real USP and that's what wins us a lot of business is, is having that hands-on experience. And Dan, one of our employees, he used to be a broker as well. So again, he's done really well off the, off the back of that. Um, so I think that's one of the main ones I, I would probably just say, just, just the hands-on experience. Yeah. yeah. And you mentioned that you've got four employees in total now. Um, what kind of culture are you aiming to build within the business as you start to hire more? Um, I, I want to have a bit more of a fun... At the moment, I would say we're very, it's a very nice sort of environment. It's all nice and sort of not lovely office, pretty laid back at working from home. Like we have Dan comes in once a fortnight and two girls are in here every day. We all work from home on Wednesdays, um, which is nice. And I think the team, like I like that. I'm just in this, this yeah. afternoon. Um, <laughs> like a, so I think culture wise, definitely I want to shift it from a bit more of a, an, an automated email based recruitment agency to a much more of a, a bit more of a, a driven sales environment, I would say, is, is what I want to yeah. do. So, and, and that may well be mean hiring a little bit more focused individuals that are much more, um, yeah, pick up the phone, a bit more higher volume of calls, that yeah. type of thing. Um, but that's yeah. not a negative on the guys that, that are already here because they're, they're doing really, really well. It's just, uh, it's, yeah, I think as we scale, I just want a bit more of a, much more of a, I don't know, a bit more fire in the belly. <laughs> from a few yeah. <laughs> later on but the guys that we've got here are doing fantastic and what are your medium and long-term business goals so medium um well we're currently hiring for someone in singapore now um which is gonna be our first hire out there so we'll register a business and everything on, on the back of hiring someone um and so i would say when the next kind of one to 
probably yeah one to two years get someone in singapore get them launched um i don't know whether we would need to hire somebody else out there but i'd like to hire another person here um and with regards to our i guess market focused the ultimate goal is to be our be the the sort of the number one maritime software sales recruitment agency that, that's that's the vision of the business um yeah and so yeah it's just walked in um that's what nice. are your key strength areas as a founder me personally or yeah um i think probably the network of people i've already had had before joining the business so we kind of joined the business i think i already had about 15 or 18 fifteen thousand. LinkedIn connections, lots of them are very relevant sort of maritime commercial people. So it was really nice when I launched the business to instantly know who to speak to. If I ever got a role in, I'd know I've had a whole connections of people uh, in the broking or commercial space. So the network, um, I don't know, I think just being quite adaptable and, and just generally positive. I feel like you need yeah. to be very upbeat in general. You can't let things knock you back um because it's just you just won't work you have to just keep keep pushing really um yeah so hopefully generally positive get on with most people um, <laughs> and yeah I, I for me now it's just this is it i, I just i don't want to go back to ever being an employee i can't do that so it's, it's it's what drives me um yeah keeps you going yeah and what advice would you give to new entrepreneurs who are considering scaling up their businesses scaling up um i would definitely say partner with somebody that obviously can facilitate that um definitely because there's so many little things you don't think about even things like putting people on payroll all that sort of stuff yeah. <laughs> providing a pension for people benefits um obviously hiring someone it's nice to have also like recruit hub for example have been very helpful with uh issuing kind of employment contracts like just giving us drafts and things we can work with um in fact, Evan has actually helped with some of our interviews, which has been fantastic, of, of people I we thought were really good, and he's sat in on some yeah. initial ones. Um, uh, so, yeah, I would say partner with somebody, whether it's a, an actual, like a co-founder or a, a business like Recruit Hub that is very much built to help agencies scale, um, I would say. And I just think don't be too hard on yourself in the early days, I think. Just try and yeah. have a long-term vision. I think, um, and also watch your cash flow. <laughs> I'm sure everyone says <laughs> that because it's so easy. I made the massive mistake within the first couple of weeks. I bought four thousand pounds worth of credits for this job board, which I probably bet I bet I didn't make any placements off it. I, I used it a lot in my old company because the company paid for it yeah. and it was great. Um, and I think I think I had about ten thousand credits or something, so they cost about ten pounds each or something. Um, but for me, it was a big expense, 4,000 for, I don't know how many credits I got, 20 or something. So don't do that. Um, <laughs> I think just be a bit more confident with, with, the, with your natural network and headhunting and yeah. LinkedIn is key. So I wouldn't recommend spend, doing any, any dramatic expenditure <laughs> early on. Yeah, well, it's been really great chatting to you and hearing about how Cordell Beaumont came to be. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Pleasure. No problem. Anything else you want to know about? Was that like... <laughs> I think that's, I'm good. But that's just anything else you want to share? Yeah, no, just, just overall extremely positive. I, I think without Recruit Hub's help, help, I probably would have had a, I don't know, maybe would have got an all right start, but I think it's just that kind of consistency to keep you going. Yeah. It's really great having a, a partner working with you um, just for either strategy guidance or yeah, when you're hiring someone, you're not too sure. Uh, either on the interview side um, and, and the training material that Recruit has provided has, has been fantastic. Um, there's a whole catalogue of stuff which I, I, my, all my team have and they do like this online course which has been brilliant when they start like, for kind of recruitment 101 sort of thing which, which Recruit yeah. send send to all of our new starters um, even before they start. It, so it's really handy. They've got that kind of initial knowledge. Um, so yeah, overall very positive. Um, <laughs> And yeah, excited about the future. Excellent.